What's going on guys? It's Dan and Tom here from the Table Tennis Daily Academy.com and today we're going to take a look at five skills that separate beginners to advanced table tennis players. Now understanding these five skills will help you improve and get much better results. Now talking about getting better results, we've recently released the new Liam Pitchford Masterclass course that take your backhand to the next level. So be sure to check that out in the links in the description where you can also grab a discount code too. But for now, let's check out these five skills. So the first skill that separates advanced players to intermediate and beginners is stability in the rally and feeling. Advanced players have done tons of practice over the years, lots of irregular and regular drills, a lot of multiple and serve practice and groove the technique to allow them to have stability and nice touch in the rally. Now advanced level players may look like they often hit the ball very hard and fast and of course sometimes they do but as a general rule a lot of the time they're playing with good quality of spin placement and depth on the table rather than pure out and out speed now this is because they've got a good contact and brush on the ball and again coming back to that foundation of solid technique so even when they are out of position or under pressure they're able to hold up be stable in the rally and keep that consistency high now in terms of stability, another thing that an advanced player does very well in comparison to an intermediate and a beginner is staying nice and relaxed with the upper body and making good use of their legs and body. Now a beginner and an intermediate player often plays very tense with the arm and very little rotation. So it's big swings and this can very easily break down. Now an advanced player stays nice and low and they're making use of their legs and body to rotate into the ball. And this allows your arm to be nice and relaxed. And doing that it gives you good contact good spin and good stability. Okay, so skill number two is decision making and shot selection. Advanced level players are very good at choosing the right shot at the right time and doing it quickly enough. Beginner and intermediate players will often choose the wrong shot or not be quick enough to make up their mind and that causes you to break down and make mistakes. So what actually helps decision making and shot selection? Now, it's important to have a game plan that understand your strengths and weaknesses and allow you to get them into play and also doing a lot of irregular and serve return exercises so you're forced into making decisions and choosing shots in your training. Okay, so let's take a look at a great irregular drill that can really improve your shot selection and decision making. So Dan is gonna block me anywhere in the table and I'm gonna top spin into his backhand side and this is really getting me making those decisions quickly, keeping that bat high on my transitions and playing with good quality, not too much speed. Now something else that advanced level players do very well when it comes to shot selection is not always playing high quality shots, but they play a shot into an area that works well. Whereas a beginner slash intermediate player may play a really good shot, but straight into your opponent's bat, so it's not as effective. Sometimes a high quality shot is not as effective as a low quality shot but into a bare area on the table. Now even advanced level players do make this mistake sometimes. In the heat and tension of a match, it's sometimes easy to forget exactly where the correct area is to place the ball. So if we take a look at the example here of Dan playing a match in the Table Tennis Daily Super League, the defending player runs in and plays a really good quality backhand, but it goes straight into Dan's bat and he's able to block it back and win the point. If the player had played a lower quality or slower shot into the body or wide into Dan's forehand, it would have been very difficult for him to block this ball back and he would have lost the point. Now, following on from decision making and shot selection, advanced players have a high ability to read the game. They're very good at picking up the opponent's cues, where they're gonna place the serve, how much spin they're getting on the ball, but most importantly, understanding their opponent's strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, now if we take a look at the example here, I'm playing an opponent who really likes to get in his forehand from the backhand side and he's got a very strong forehand. So here I'm able to pin him in the backhand side and then when he looks to turn, switch him wide into that forehand corner. And that's an example of being aware and reading the game well, understanding the tactics and understanding the strengths and weaknesses of the opponent. Now to improve your ability to read the game, you've got to play lots of matches. Now match experience, sometimes it can be quite difficult to play matches where you maybe lose quite a few games, but actually the losing is what actually gives you that experience so then later on down the line you can adjust and make sure you don't make those mistakes again. Now an area where this is really highlighted and the beginner and intermediate players will be more exposed is in the serve and return. The advanced level players are picking up those cues. Is the serve long? They're getting in the top spin. Is it short? Do I have to step in and touch or flick? And the intermediate and beginner players won't be reading this as well and won't have as many chances to attack and get their positive shots into play. And that's why those beginner and intermediate players do start to break down against those more advanced players who read the game better and start to dominate in the serve and return area. Skill number four is not having an obvious weakness. Now again, this comes back to reading the game. Those advanced level players will quickly pick up an obvious weakness in the intermediate or beginner level players and target this. 
If you don't have an obvious weakness, then it's much harder to play against you tactically and you can stay in the game longer and not get put under pressure. Yeah, now some things you can do to improve your weaknesses is video analysis, watch yourself, watch playing matches, you might be able to pick up, oh, I'm poor on the backhand side there, or man, my serves are going long quite often. You've got to just watch yourself and see if there's anything happening. Also ask your club mates, they're quite good at giving you advice, or even, of course, coaches. Okay, so last but not least, but skill number five is the mental side of the game. Now, advanced players are very mentally tough. They've obviously played lots of matches and lots of experience. They've got good self-confidence in what they're doing. So they're very good under pressure. Now with the mental side, advanced players are very good at not making silly mistakes. They've got good concentration abilities, especially in the tight points, and stick to their game plan and have that strong focus. Yeah, that's right. Now advanced players are very good in the first few shots of the rally, getting into play, not making those silly mistakes early on, which you will find, of course, the beginner and the intermediate players, they break down quickly in the rally and they give away some cheap points on easy mistakes. What you'll see advanced players do, they're very good at the beginning of the point, keeping the ball in play, and then even doing it with a higher level of quality and consistency than the lower level players. So talking of not making silly mistakes and having that concentration and focus on sticking to the game plan, let's go back to TTDSL and have a look at Dan here, where he's juicing the fifth and he manages to not over force, he just gets that good control and quality of the block into a good position on the table, rather than going for a big swing. And again, that comes back to those advanced players choosing the right shot and having that focus and consistency under pressure and sticking to their game plan. Yeah, and I, I think you're right, Tom. Concentration is really, really important. And you can notice this, at, the more you play table tennis, the more match experience you get, you, you just get better at concentrating all the time and you get into the zone quicker. Exactly right, and that cuts out mistakes and that is a big difference between beginner and intermediate players compared to advanced players. So there we go, guys. There were five skills that separate beginners to advanced table tennis players. Now, advanced players, they practice often, they have tons of match experience, but they also learn from their mistakes. That's right. Now be sure to let us know in the comments below what else you think separates beginners, intermediate, and advanced level players. Now also be sure to check out our new Liam Pitchford Masterclass course in the links in the description where you can grab yourself a 30% discount code. But for now, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.